Team World, today I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a file proof of existence using the Apertis client. Uh, proof of existence is basically uh, a service that allows you to prove that a document existed in a certain state at a certain time. And this is done by taking a hash of the document uh, and then etching the hash onto the blockchain. Uh, once the hash is, is added to a block, the, the, the date of the block becomes the proof that that document existed. Uh, Apertis does this uh, similar to how other services have done it. Uh, Apertis does, uh, does allow uh, the ability to also link a profile along with the proof. So not, alone, not only can you uh, prove that the document existed, you can prove that you as a person at, uh, at least knew about it in the state that it was at that time. Uh, and if you uh, uh, have been using signatures to, to uh, sign uh, your documents as they're being generated, you can also prove that uh, you are the creator of that document. Uh, so to give you an example of how uh, this works, we're just going to do one in real time. I'm going to, so to insert a proof, open up Apertis, select the, the testnet that you'd like to select. I'm going to select Bitcoin testnet. To associate a profile with your proof, make sure you've selected a profile and a signature from your, your drop-down list. Uh, once you've done that, you'll have to select an account where the funds to perform the proof etching will come from. We're going to select money. Uh, and then uh, to fi uh, final steps, file, proof, insert. And we're going to pick the BitFossil logo. Uh, it's one that I've used previously, so you can kind of see what it looks like if people have put in, put in multiple uh, proofs of existent, existence etchings. So I'll select that. Uh, you could also uh, put a note along with this proof, uh, as long as you would have typed it here into the message uh, section before you uh, select, selected insert. Unfortunately, as soon as you select insert, it is going to insert that proof of existence, which is happening right now. And in a few seconds, you, uh, you'll see the right screen here uh, update, uh, basically letting us know that the proof of existence is completed and it, is, uh, and it has been entered. And here it is. Uh, so you can see here's the hash of that file, uh, and here is the profile uh, that I use to uh, actually enter it. So let's say that you have access to the file, but you'd like to see who, uh, when it was created and who created it. Uh, you can do that now that this has been entered using a Apertis. Again, click on File, Proof, Search, and we're going to search by file, and we're going to select the same image. And now you can see that it has been, uh, there's quite a few occurrences of this image. Uh, once at 12.46 uh, in the afternoon, which is here, and this one was done by BitFossil. Uh, this one on top is the one we just did, and if you notice the date, 1969 at 6 p.m., that's because it hasn't been entered into a block yet. And until it gets into a block, it's going to have this 1969 date. But uh, you can see here that we've done quite a few of them. Uh, if you would like to see them all, uh, you basically just uh, have to click on the top uh, and you can just kind of go through them and see all the different timestamps. So that is an example of inserting a proof of existence and looking up a proof of existence uh, using the Apertis client and the Bitcoin testnet. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day.